सो हे गाइस माय नेम इज आरव एंड यू आर वाचिंग ए ट्रैक रेडर्स आई हैव कम बैक विद अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो एंड ब्लॉकबस्टर वीडियो बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट मेकिंग वीडियोस मच अ डेज मोर देन 15 नो डेज बिकॉज़ आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम फीवर आई एम रियली रियली सॉरी टू एवरीवन दैट यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द वीडियो बट आई एम कम विद द किंग ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट यू वांट फ्रॉम द Redmi Note 10 डिवाइस सो दिस इज हाउ आई कन्वर्टेड माय Redmi Note 10 इनटू OnePlus 9RT और 9R Lite So in this video I will share everything with you all. So if you are new to my channel then please consider a uh, like to the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Redmi Note 10. So without wasting a further ado let's get started to the video. So first of all guys this is running on the Oxygen OS if I can see you it's based on Android 11. Firstly I want to share that it is running on Android 11 due to of Android 11 status it is stable and you are getting the much older security update of 1st january with the system update 2 also and the kernel version is strix kernel in line is used you can see this after that the developer is sandal jsp thanks to jsp for making this rom and you get about the phone written as snapdragon 865 i don't think that it is not needed to be changed but yeah if it gets to change then it will be a great full of things after that award section is also there and First of all I will start from the network internet settings. I have using it with the Jio SIM card and I haven't faced any of the issues. First issue that I have faced is the hotspot. If I generally turn on the hotspot suddenly after few minutes it gets turned off. You can see this if I enable the hotspot and after that you can see that the hotspot get automatically turned off. So it's a bug. The hotspot is not working fine all around. After that nothing issues that I have faced in the network and internet settings also. Apart from device connection bluetooth is working fine I have checked with my neckband it's working in the display option you can get the adaptive brightness and all those things after that advanced color cal calibration in the notch display is also available if you click then you get this notch display and if you click on the so notch area then it will be full screen display and screen calibration is from natural vivid and it is working so you don't need to any get and here you can select the rgb srgb or dp3 you can use at your own after that vision comfort is also been the reading mode it's working fine and yeah here is get the chromatic effect too also the dark mode which is pure dark mode not a pitch black or grayish dark mode so yeah you getting that things it is really good in the ambient display option you get the always on display option and yeah you can do that for also according to you you get the canvas option also in there and the font size and all settings were there apart from there this is a customization option and this is a canvas beta option and i have checked this option but i don't use this so i disable just this you get the accent color options and you can arrange at your own tear drop and one plus sans options you can select your font according to you i'll just like this font where it is got gone never settle yeah this is too good font and you can see that it gets changed it's look very but i like this sound and vibration option also is there and the dolby atmos support is been there you can select the dynamic film music option and you can't see this i i have to change the font so you can easily see that no 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 this no never set here yeah. so after that you get the uh, option of dolby atmos that as i have told you and if you plug it any earphone you can do it from here earphone mode is also been there and it's working all around fine i've checked that issues also touch vibration is also working the haptic feedback is not too good as me why but yeah haptic feedback does feels good after that you get the alert slider and it doesn't work because the head is no alert slider no hardware it is a ported room so you won't think that apps notification you get the default apps and the home launcher is oneplus launcher so not a much more customization has also been there you get the camera app of anx camera but what's the reason i am not recommending to use this anx camera i will tell you in the later part of the video after that fingerprint is working all around fine and it unlocks quietly and if you ask me about the face unlock and yeah it opens you can see this the face unlock is too fast that it subtly opens the that also and the location and privacy option battery yeah uh in my usage case i feel that battery is pretty impressive in this portrait you can use according to you but yet there is some downside if you are some business 
man kind of person then i am not going to recommend this rom to you also and accounts option utilities you get the game mode and first of all if you thinking that the game mode works properly fine that it is not so be ready for that also and as usual i said you you are not getting any updater in this rom because it's a ported rom after that uh, everything i have done with that and you get this calculator option every one plus application you get if you click here and wall uh, app settings you get the uh, swipe down self or notification i have selected self i can pack you can use that i can pack is the oxygen hydrogen and round so if i click oxygen and save it gets changed into oxygen so yeah it's good to see that oxygen everything is working all around fine and you get the 5 to 6 ratio and this is working all around fine and the total ui feels so smooth if i generally opens any apps you can see this the opening and closing speed of any application is quite faster even i close or open youtube it's do fine work a lot and after that i have checked many benchmarks so i will let you share that also so first of all sorry to see and say device is not certified after that safety net test does fail and uh, if this is my battery drain test this is the cpu throttling test which i haven't took with any game mode it is run for 7 minutes with a max 138 gips and it's throttled for 88% to its max performance so it's so not i am surprised to see the single core score and happy to see that but multi core score doesn't feel good this is the wildlife test without any game mode 482 which is pretty impressive and the string shot test is also been there which is which is having 2 to 4 3 score which is good but this is the test which is again taken with me after 2 days of use and you get 90% max performance for the 15 minutes and 147 g ips is also been there this is the wildlife score which i took from the what you say game mode and it is getting a pretty down score as compared without any gaming mode you can see that 2238 and when i took it from the without any gaming mode you get to 2243 so yeah there is downside of our yeah there is also a downside of it also this is the charging rapidly you can see that that is charging rapidly and i am pretty excited to see that this rom does working fine and yeah for those who are thinking that it is rooted or pre rooted or not rooted rom you can see this whenever i open the geo app you can see this this device is rooted detected so yeah you can't run any banking apps if you want then you have to does unroot this device but if you ask me about the camera whenever i click any photo you can see some green tint over there in the recording you are seeing that the background color and in the photo you can see the background color so you can imagine how it's and the video does not work it gets crashed so yeah video isn't working and you i have covered all the things for the review and if you know about the installation steps you can just see that description box because it's open all around so that's for now i'm signing you off and please subscribe keep motivate me to make awesome content for you till then